Sudan's Islamist movement as it stands today was built by Hassan al-Turabi. And now, with Sudan seemingly set to split, he remains a strong advocate for southern self-determination. A fierce intellectual, he studied law in Britain and gained a PhD from the Paris Sorbonne. He then became the dean of the Faculty of Law at Khartoum University in 1964. As a leader of the Sudanese Islamic movement, he won a seat in parliament. His fierce opposition to the former strongman Numeri landed him in jail for about seven years. During the democratic period of 1986 to 1989, he managed to build the Islamic movement as the main opposition party. Omar al-Bashir took power in 1989 in a bloodless coup organized by the Turabi movement. Turabi, in turn, began pulling even more political strings. He was portrayed by many as the godfather of the new regime, but his rivalry with President Bashir once again landed him in jail. In 1999, he and his movement broke away and spoke out. Turabi would spend much of the last decade in prison. While free in 2007, he told Al Jazeera where he would lay the blame for Sudan's bloody past. Centralization, actually. When you have a dictatorship, it means a monopoly of all power and of all wealth. Central, of course, it, it's an old tradition, centralization in the Sudan. It's the British. Today, he's a tough critic on human rights, calling for civilian government and supporting a voice for the South. Turabi is also known for his revolutionary religious views. Some have called him the Martin Luther of Islam.